evening, everyone. Hi, good evening, guys. So we're gonna start now. Yeah, let's go. Okay, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of SIT Organizing Committee, we are warmly would like to warmly welcome each and every one of you to our online session of SIT Virtual Campus Tour for the international students in second semester 2021. I assure you that this SIT Virtual Campus Tour will be full of excitement and will create some beautiful memories for us all, even though we are in the COVID-19 of pandemic, right, Rina? Okay, yeah. first, may we request everyone to ensure that their microphones are muted and the camera are turned on. Thank you. Okay, so first of all, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Lina. I am third year student studying in civil engineering department. And this is my partner. Okay, thank you, Lina. I'm Billy Laparadas, one from Management Technology, SIIT, also known as ISA MT. We will be your MC for this evening. So before we begin, we are here today for the campus tour, which is one of the activities organized by SIIT International Affairs and Corporate Relations, the Student Taught International Institute of Technology, also known as SIIT. So this section will take care, coordinate and provide activities for all international students at SIIT and also supervise the body system as we here today. Okay, so without further ado, allow me to briefly explain what you're going to be expected in today's event. First of all, we are going to begin with a little ice-breaking game, followed by a quick video formally introducing our staff and faculty. And later on, there will be a few presentation sessions about life around Rangsit campus. So, prepare by your very own buddies. And the presentation, it is going to allow you guys to take a look around our university so you can have a glimpse of where things are located in university, where us Thai students eat our food, where we travel around, what we do after school and stuff like that. And then after this session, there will be some group activities, which will be explained later on. And then followed by another quick mini game, icebreaking game again. And yes, and Billy, what's next? Okay, so before we start, let's start with the self-introduction first. Okay, as we already introduced ourselves, I'm Billy, and uh, another, um, the next MC is Lena. And should we, you know, get to know some each other more before we start yes, the game? Of course. Okay. Um, uh, shall we begin with um, introducing the staff, like main staff here? Yeah, really quick one. Okay. okay so we're gonna so... start with the um introduce our staff food. Okay, anyone wanna be a first person? How about Pichon? Yeah, of course, everyone needs to know Pichon. Okay? Oh, yeah. And I think they know know me a lot. So hi guys, I'm Pichon. Please call me Pichon. Don't meet Ton Picha. From now on you can call me Pichon. And you know that. He is for calling people who is older than you. And don't worry that all of us in the office are older than you. So feel free to call us P followed by nickname, which is Chon. So call me P Chon. Thank you. Okay, so um, let's not waste any more time. Let's jump right into the first activity. This session is going to be a presentation containing fun facts about our students' life around campus in Thammasat Rangsit. It's if the first group is ready. You may begin your presentation. Do you need any more time to prepare? First group, if you're ready, you can come up now. Okay, so I will be passed to the, our, you know, SIT student for their presentation. Thank you. Um, a little fun fact, this pre these presentations are prepared by your buddy here in Thailand. So um, you may want to look at their face and, you know, memorize them. So if you see them in campus, you'll be like, oh, that's my buddies or my friend's buddy. <laughs> okay, first group, please turn on your camera and start your presentation, please. Good evening, everyone. As you can see from our side, today I am going to talk about our campus. SIT have two campus, 
The first one is Langsit Campus, and the second one is Wangadi Campus. So we're gonna start with Langsit Campus first, and then I'm gonna talk about Wangadi Campus later. When you get sick or accident, where do you go? It must be hospital, right? In our campus, have a hospital that inside our campus is called Tamasa University Hospital. It is not far from our SIT building. It will take about 20 minutes or less than that to go to the hospital. And the next one, um, canteen. If you're hungry, where do you go? It must be canteen, right? Actually, our campus have a lot of canteen. The detail about canteen, my friend, they're gonna talk about it later. And the next one, Interzone Night Market. Interzone Market is a small market that located inside our campus. It usually open on Monday and Thursday. It sell a lot of things like food, clothes, shoes, and student uniform. It have a lot of Thai food you should try when you go to Thammasat University. And the next one, cafe. In our campus, have a lot of cafe that are inside and outside the campus. I want to introduce you to cafe that are very convenient to go to. The first one is Class Cafe. Class Cafe located at Chiang Rak One Road, so it's very convenient. It takes about seven minutes to go to by walk, but the flights are a little bit expensive. And the next one is Cafe Amazon. It's a cafe that located at SIT building. Moreover, Cafe Amazon are connected to the SIT library. The next one, I'm gonna talk about the library or the learning center at the Rangsit campus. We actually have three of them. The two of them is the TU library and the one of them is SIT library. The first one I'm gonna talk is, we usually call it for short at a Sogo Law Learning Center. This one is open for 24 seven hours if you wanna read like all day, all night. So you can come and come and visit to this place. The next one is called Boy Library. This one is used for students that want to lend the books and want to read inside. And these two places are close to each other. You can take the shuttle bus number three from SIT to visit this place. And the next one is SIT Library. So we have two floors of them. The first floor is connected to the Cafe and Maison as our staff as mentioned before. And we also have the co-working space at the first floors and we have a glass room at the back for you to books and then you can use that use it as arrange the meetings. And the second floor, we have like printing service and the toilet that you can use. This place is very silent. If you want to be concentrated, you can visit to this floor. The next one is about the banking service. If you want to deposit the money, you don't need to go like outside of the university. We have the ATM to deposit the money all around the campus. So we just go and visit them and then you can deposit the money. The next one is the post office. We actually have the post office like all around the dorms that you guys have. Like for example, under the TU, T, uh, studio camp, dorms or city of arts dorm, you have the post office. The next one is TU bookstore. This one is close to the TU hospital. Uh, you can buy like trick TU dress course if you want to use it in the examination days and pen, pencil or books, you can find this over here. The next one, I'm gonna talk about the transportation on the campus. We have three ways to travel. The first one is free shuttle bus, which is the white one. The next one is the mini truck. It's cost about five bucks per journey. And it can also bring you to the boy library and so-called learning centers also. The next one is the model by taxi. This one is really depends on the distance that you're gonna go. It costs about 10 to 50, 15 baht per route. The next one is, if you want to travel from Rangsit campus to the Bangkok, we have many ways for you guys to choose. And for those guys that are gonna go to Bangkok campus, you can use the free shuttle ride from Rangsit campus to Bangkok campus also. And the schedule will be announced very soon. And if you guys wanna travel to Bangkok, right? So we have three ways for you guys to show us. The first one is taking the bus, the blue bus number 29 or 510 is open every day from 5 a.m. to 22 p.m. And the next one is the, taking the mini vans, which is the white van. The first route is gonna take like 45 minutes and it's gonna drop you at the BTS, at the Victories of Monument. It's gonna cost about 43 to 48 baht per journey. And the next one is gonna take like 30 minutes and it's gonna cost like 38 baht to 42 baht per journey. And it's gonna drop you at the BTS station uh, 
at the Moshi station and also MRT station at the Jadusha station. The next one is that if you want to travel like to the nearest shopping malls, you can choose like Future Park, Future Park Run City. It's gonna cost like 15 baht and take about 15 minutes per journey. The next one is if you want to travel to Grand Palace, you're gonna take the minivans, which is gonna take you 45 minutes per journey and cost about 40 baht per journey. Um, yeah, about the interval, on a nice day, everyone wants to ride a bike, right? You can walk into the university, then pick up your mobile phone, go to the app interval, and scan the QR code on the bike, then tap two or three times. The bike is already to right? You can ride a bike around the campus. It is not free. Any volunteer start at 10 baht per 30 minutes. It also has a scooter that you can rent. And the next one, Bangkadi campus. Um, as she mentioned before, you can go to the Bangkadi campus by a free shuttle bus that is provided by SIT. And it is picture of SIT building. And the next one, it is library at Bangadi campus. It also has a colony space that you can use. And it is some picture of library at Bangadi campus. Yeah. Pictures. And the next topic that we're gonna talk about is support facility. Uh, thank you very much. Um, can can you uh, share the screen, please? Thank you. So let's move on to the sports facilities part. Here's a fun fact. Did you know that Thammasat University hosted the 13th Asian Game in 1998? Therefore, the facility standards are decent. In total, there are 11 sports facilities which are fitness centers, uh, mini stadium, tennis courts, uh, badminton courts, extreme sport fields, uh, aquatic sports center, um, gymnasiums, climbing wall, uh, shooting range, basketball fields, and kayak sailing. For the fitness TU, the first floor is the aquatic sports center, which opens at 7 to 10 a.m and 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. The entrance is free for undergraduate students and exchange students. Uh, for others, such as um, other locals, maybe uh, 1,000 baht membership. For fitness B and C, fitness B is in front of B3 student dormitory and Fitness C is in front of C5 student dormitory. There is no entrance fee for this facility. It opens on Friday to, excuse me, uh, Monday to Friday at um, 3 p.m. to 9 p.m. Next is the mini stadium, which includes a grass field and surrounded by um, a running track, which is approximately 400 meter. So the field is suitable for rugby practice. Moving over to the tennis court. They are, they are located next to Deluxe Building number four. It is open on Monday to Sunday at um, 7, 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. The entrance fee is 150 baht per court per hour. Next is the badminton court. It is inside gymnasium four, opens on Sunday to Friday at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. The entrance fee is 100 baht per hour. For the extreme field, it's designed for skateboarding in general. It opens on weekdays at 6 to 9 p.m. and is free of charge. The Aquatic Sports Center opens every day at 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. with a 80 baht fee. The center includes the swimming pool and the diving session. Next, there are three gymnasiums available, which are Gym 4, 5, and 6. Gym 4 is for badminton. Uh, return, please. 
Okay, next the clamping. Okay, gym four. Okay, gym four is for badminton. Gym five is for volleyball, and gym six is for sepak takraw, which is like a uh, foot volleyball. Uh, the clamping ball opens on weekdays at five to eight p.m. at gymnasium seven. It costs one hundred fifty baht per round. Thammasat University also has a shooting range, which opens on Tuesday to Thursday at five to seven thirty p.m. It opens on Tuesday to Thursday. My personal favorite is the basketball field, which is um, the outdoor opens 24 hours because like there are no restrictions, but the indoor court usually closes at 9 p.m. every day. Lastly, the kayak sailing. So uh, in order to be able to sail kayak in the university, the equipment should be prepared properly before um, participating in such activities. So keep in mind that the sports centers may be temporarily closed or closed at adjusted time due to TU measures in order to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So thank you very much. Next is about food shop. Okay, if you guys are ready, you may begin. So, hi everyone, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, so we're going to present about the food shop and the things that you can find around Tamasat or what, about what to eat. Let's begin with the first one. Here are the photo of the all the food that we can find nearby, like the Thammasat Langsit campus. You can see that there are a lot of things and categories of food. And, and the most important thing that you guys want to know is the price rate. It is, it is different a little between on-campus canteen and off-campus. Like inside campus is going to be a little more cheaper and off-campus it will be a little more expensive. And the price range is about 30 to 40 baht on the campus and 30 to 100 baht per ditch off campus. And if you come to Thailand, one thing to recommend you to eat it is the buffet. And here at Thomas Hart Rangsit, we do have the, the many places of buffet restaurant with the price range start from 170 to 300 baht per person per meal. And we separate the food into two categories. The first one is off campus recommendations and the second one is off campus recommendation. Let's begin with the on-campus recommendation. As you can see in this picture, this is called the Green Canteen, or in Thai it's called Long Green. It is located in the, in the center of Thammasat Langsit campus. What you can find there is that you can eat food for the lunch, for the dinner, you can find the beverage, the Indian food, and of course, both bati. And talking about Indian food, there is one Indian food that is really famous beside the Green Canteen. Is this very recommended? You can find biryani. You can find any famous Indian food there, and the price is 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 quite cheap. The next canteen that I recommend is called JC Canteen and SC Canteen. Is this located not so far away from SIT building? Let's say I did this SIT building. You just need to walk straight, like for around. 300 meters to the walkway from the SIT building, and then you will find these two canteens. It is, so, it is not hard to find at all. And you can find the food there. And one thing that Thomas has student eats a lot is Yam Yuba, and it is recommended to try there. They have a 7-Eleven, or is this a convenience store, and the, and the ATM, and the fruits. Here are the picture of the convenience store that's, that is available inside the campus. The first one is the Family Mart, the second one is 7-Eleven, and the, and the last one is Top Daily. You can find all necessary things in there. 
and for the one that is vegetarian and vegan, they are also the Helen restaurant provided inside the campus also. There, there are there are a restaurant at the JC Canteen, HC Canteen, Green Canteen that I was talking about, and at the AIT. So the one who eats vegetarian and vegan that do not have to worry at all. We do have like many food for them. And one of the most important questions that you should that you should curious is where to get the coffee. If you're if you are the if if you learn at the campus at the inside the in inside the if you are learning and then you get tired like one of the important question is where to get the coffee here's the place that you can buy that you can do so the first one is the starbucks it is located at the main library it is nearby and it is not hard to find at all and the second one is it's called the dioro it is it is in front of the sit building and here are some places else inside the campus so we have so many cafe and coffee shop provided for everyone So next, besides what Sang has mentioned about the on-campus recommendation, I would like to tell you one significant uh, place to find food, which is U Square Food Center. It is just outside the main gate of our university. It's called U Square, and in U Square, we have a lot of food, dessert, buffet, mukata, steak, salad, and many other things. And this is what I call mukata. Mukata in Thai is mu is a pork, so if you have a mukata, you will go to the restaurant and they will give you a pan that you can grill meat or pork or shim, whatever. And it also offer some shop have an a la carte and some shop offer it in buffet. So you can eat how much you want, uh, how much you can eat like when, until you are full. And next, this is the bubble milk tea or boba. Is one of my favorite things. So you might try here. There are a lot of, uh, there are many shops in U Square and also in campus as well. This is also other thing that you can find here. And if you don't know where to go, I have some recommend restaurant for you. The first one is Shinkansen Sushi. It provides Japanese food, and the light one is also the Japanese food shop because I like Japanese food so you might try Shinkansen and also the light one Kai Wan Ban Sushi there are many variety type of sushi here and this is Mototic Fun Shop it's a, the shop that has a Motot which is a fried pork it has many type of fried pork you can eat it with sticky rice or plain rice and this is the dessert shop it is called Bua Loi. Bua Loi is a Thai dessert, which is come in many flavor. You may ask for Bua Loi, which is come in matcha flavor or chocolate flavor, something like that. And it come in milk or coconut milk. It's sweet, but delicious. And other than that, you might want to compete the food bucket list in Thailand, which is very well known and delicious food. There are many food that is well known and you might have heard it before. The first one is Pad Thai, which is um, like stir fried noodles, rice in Thai. And the second one is Tom Yam or Tom Yam Kung. Kung is shim. The third one is Tom Tam. It comes with spicy, so you might have to ask them to get you the less spicy one if you can eat a lot of spicy. As you might know, Thai food is very spicy and the last one is mango with sticky rice is a dessert and lastly i would like to teach you some useful words that you might need to order food in thailand that i say the food in thailand is very spicy so i will tell you how to order it so if you want to order it to be not spicy at all you can say my pet so okay. my my mean not no and pet is spicy, so you may repeat after me, my pet. My pet. Yes. And if you want to ask them to give you a little spicy, so there are still some spiciness in your food, but not that spicy, you can ask by saying pet nit noi. Pet nit noi. So nit noi means a little. And lastly, you might 
want to ask them to ask about how much it is, you can ask them by saying how lai. How lai means how much. So that's all for our presentation about food shop. Let's move on to the next presentation. Thank you for the food shop for this presentation. Next is the last one of the presentation about Rangsis campus is the club that you guys can join. Okay, hello, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, so in this part, we are going to talk about clubs in SIT and in university. So first, let's begin with clubs in SIT. So we will talk about them one by one, starting from Automate Club to Volunteer Club. So first, Automate Club. So what is this club? This club is mainly to build, develop, and design a car for racing. So no matter if you are in mechanical engineering or any other major, you can join this club. Next one is Basketball Club. So as the name said, it's playing basketball. So if you join this club, you will play basketball with SIT friends and um, do some competition together. Next is Cactus Club. This club is designed specially for anyone who loves planting or cultivation. So they will teach you how to grow cactus and what are the types of cactus. And if you love, you can like grow your own cactus as well. Next is Cheerleader Club. This club is mainly for um, dancing and cheering. So if you love dancing, this club is for you. And there are mainly five events for this club to perform, which are Moonstar Contest, Freshie Game, Intercup, Basketball, and First Meet events. So you will be sharing like football or basketball competition. Next one is dance club. So this club is also for anyone who loves dancing. They will mainly dance in K-pop song or Thai pop song. Next is football club. Yeah, so as the name said, you will go and play football with SIT students. Next is innovation club. This club is designed specially for anyone who loves creating new technology. So they will teach you how to code and build a robot. So that sounds interesting, right? Next is our special sport in SIT, Kendo Club. If you don't know, Kendo is a Japanese sport. And so if you want to have a new experience playing this sport, this club is for you. Next is MC Club. As the name said, you will entertain people and speak in public. So if you want to try improving your soft skills speaking in public, this club is for you. Next is photo and media club. This one involves um, photography, um, graphic design, and video editing. So if you love taking pictures, you can join this one. Next is music and chorus club. If you can play the piano, drums, guitar, or you can sing, you can join this club to form a band with SIT students. And last but not least is volunteer club. So this club, you will mainly go to local community to help people. And you also paint and fix the temple. So if you want to have experience in local community, this one is the best for you. So these are the clubs in SIT. And next we will talk about clubs in our university. Hi guys, uh, next I'm going to talk about crop in TU. There are so many crop in our university, but I will give you just a few examples. And I will begin the first one with higher level crop. This is a group of entertainers who love and passionate in dancing and they will perform on the stage in university event and they mainly dance in T-pop, K-pop, or J-pop song. And next we have MC of Thammasat, a motivational speaker who hosts and handles our university event. They take a big responsibility of university event and this club is similar to MC of SIIT but they will perform on the stage in big events such as orientation, to your first meet or to your see your traditional football game. And the next one please. 
Next one will help to you photo. They will do like a photography thing and a production thing. And next we have two colors. This crop consists of musician, singer, and production team. And next, we have two folk song. And this crop also similar to SIT music and colors, but they will, they will perform under university event. And next we have two band. This crop is a little bit similar to two folk song, but their performance will be more formal. And next we have two cheerleader that they will do a cheerleader thing in TUCU traditional football game. And we have RCATU or Recreational Association of Thammasat University. They will entertain people by their dancing, singing, outfit, or their acting. And next one, we have the sport club such as TUCC or bicycle club and the shooting club. And next, we have TU volunteer club and TU rugby. And next, we have softball and baseball crop and cheer, cheer crop. This crop is very popular and many people want to participate because they take a big responsibility of TUCU traditional football game, which is the highlight of the year. And they will transform a shelling team into the picture as shown in the slide. And they will align a parade with each the highlight of the event. And the last one, we have TIC or Thomasat International Club that I suggest you guys to participate because you can make a new friend and meet so many people who come from different countries who are international students or Asian students like you. And you can exchange your story or share your journey and you will feel like you are at home because this club has the vision to make students to feel the home and they will provide you uh, many activities. And that is for our presentation. If you want more information, you can contact them via Facebook or YouTube by searching their name in the searching box. And if you want to participate both in TU and SIT Craft, you can do it at the same time. And thank you for your attention. Bye.